Hello, I'm Seema Rao, Deputy Director and Chief Experience Officer of the Akron Art Museum. And I'm talking about Making Your Mark. Making Your Mark is a special exhibition featuring nine regional Ohio artists. Uh, and it's shown in the three of our galleries. So it's in um, upstairs, it's a wonderful work upstairs in our Arnstein galleries. And then there are works in our O'Neill lobby and our Corbin galleries. So let's talk a little bit about the show. Right now, in 2020 and 2021, we are in a period where so much of what we're doing, including this, is digital. And, you know, obviously digital has helped us make sure that we can stay connected in um, a time when so many of us are trapped in our houses. Um, but of art, so much of the best parts of art are actual, authentic, real. That's really one of the best reasons to go to museums, to see something that you can't see anywhere else. Um, now, not all museum art is unique and we can talk about multiples another time, but in this exhibition, so many of these works have been chosen because of the fact that the, when you look at it, it feel, in real life, it feels different um, emotionally than when you look at it digitally. So to start with, um, one of the artists in the show, She'll, her work, Taryn McMahon, um, is a prof at Kent State, and she has um, a number of works actually in the show. She has a series of prints that will be one of the first things you see if you if you come. Uh, the show closes on August 8th, so there's plenty of time uh, if you're in the Northeast Ohio region to come and see the show. Uh, so she is somebody who works a lot in printmaking, and so she has a series of prints that take um, images of what looks like a greenhouse, um, actually looks also a little bit like the interior of our building. It is not, but it looks like it. Uh, so she has these images that are repeat pattern and you can see them and they are framed and they're quite beautiful. Um, but then if you look upstairs and you go upstairs afterwards and you see uh, this beautiful hanging that she's created, it feels like you're walking into a print. And the works are on, um, are sort of like curtains that have been printed. And then she has used an X-Acto knife to cut into it. And so it's three-dimensional. It's when you walk around it, you can notice all the shadows and the way that the color, it's, it's a blue and white, and it just feels so ethereal, like you're walking into an artwork. Now, um, you know, if you see one of these other series, you'll know that we don't believe in touching art. So you can only think about that in your mind's eye. Um, but Taryn McMahon's work is really quite immersive, even if it's really, it's static. It's not, it's not an interactive work of art, but your mind and your imagination it makes it feel immersive. Another work that I'd like to call to attention here is a work by um, Oberlin-based artist Omid Shikari. He uh, works in a number of media. Uh, he paints and he draws, uh, but he his the drawings that we have, we have two of them. They're really wonderfully multimedia. He um, does these sort of, they're, they're um, muted color palettes and there's two drawings that both have really amazing figures on them. He's, he's really uh, quite, gifted and sensitive draftsman. But what he also does is, and you can find, you can actually see how he does it. He has a grinder and he takes um, shell casings and he grinds them until he gets a uh, kind of chunky dust. And he uses that in, and applies that to his drawing. And if you did not see the grinder and you didn't know there were shell casings, you would just think it is this metallic substance that he's added to his drawings to create these sort of curtains or rugs of shiny, beautiful. I mean, they really, they look, um, uh, they look almost royal. They're so, they're so, they're so pretty. And then you realize that they're in fact made out of shell casings. And so they have this sort of two ways of looking at it kind of quality. Um, another artist who takes something you might know and turns it into something surprising is um, a, um artist who also has, is associated with Kent State, but a Columbus born artist, Andrea Myers. She uh, is probably known in the region for a lot of her torn paper work. She works a lot in torn paper, but she also works in textiles. And so the textile that we have, blue seams, is uh, recycled uh, blue jeans. And then she layers them into this sort of quilt like thing. And as you see it, you see this um, sea of blue and then bright dots of color. Uh, and um, it, it's one of those things that if you're standing very far away, it almost looks like 
one of our geometric abstractions, one of our paintings um, upstairs in our permanent collection galleries. But then when you move really close to it, you notice that it's textile. And I don't know, I mean, I, I know the work and I have read about it. And so for me, it, it is obviously jeans, um, but I don't know that the regular viewer would know what the blue fabric comes from. It is, I mean, and it's nice because blue jeans, of course, um, are so many blues, and this is it. This is too. It's it has. It's like almost like a um, gradation of blues, you know. Uh, and then the final work I was going to call out in this chat is a work that is um, it's blue and white as well. And you look at it, and it's by Michelle Marshall, and it's it's actually a wood lithograph. Michelle Marshall takes wood, reclaimed wood, and then she um, she marks on it. And then when you do a lithograph, you use an oil pen, uh, oil crayon, and then she, and then then basically you etch it. And I will tell you that I I could sort of I just very quickly glossed over the process. Um, but if you look at Michelle Marshall's on process, it's on our YouTube channel. You can learn much much more. She goes into great detail about the process. But what I like and what you would see in the show is both the wood plate and the print. And the wood plate itself is so attractive. You can see the wood grain and you can see the, the, um, the, the marks that she had made on the plate. And then you see the, the print that's made with, and it's really nice to see the both parts, you know, this and this, and to see them beside themselves because they both have this sort of um, ethereal quality. And uh, she talks a lot about her um, source of inspiration or what she thought she came to realize was one of her sources of inspiration was her interest in scuba diving. And so that does, it does have this sort of, if, once you hear that, you think it might look like underwater, but it also has sort of an ethereal otherworldly quality as well. Um, and then that's because the work is somewhat abstracted. So it's not, it's not very specific details in it. Um, instead, it's just sort of it's sort of forms and, and and shapes and movement. So those are some highlights um, from the exhibition "Making Your Mark," which will be on view uh, throughout the museum until August eighth. So I hope you will join us. Thank you very much. <laughs>